Bangladesh is the first country in South Asia to give permission for farmers to grow a genetically modified food crop, in this case, Bt brinjal or eggplant, genetically modified to resist infestation of pest, fruit and shoot borer, which conventionally requires huge amounts of pesticide spraying. There have already been reports from local media and from anti-GMO activists that this new Bt brinjal has failed in the field. So I'm travelling eight hours away from Dhaka in Bangladesh, up to the northwest region of Rangpur, just 50 kilometres from the Indian border, to visit some of the farmers in the remoter regions to find out how well Bt brinjal is performing in the field. Ask him how he, is he happy with the crop so far? Uh, they are happy. Huh. Ask him now. Ask huh. him. Huh. They, they said must happy. No, Can you translate? Uh, he told that uh, there is no infestation of food and shoot borer of, uh, of in BT field. But he told that in non BT crop, that is border crop, there is a presence of infestation uh, in the non BT crop. Because there is no infestation of food and shoot borer. He need, uh, needs no need to spray inside, and he is saving 10,000 taka, need 10,000 taka for uh, uh, fruit and shoot borer. However, I wanted to check whether other farmers in the Rangpur region had also been able to reduce their pesticide sprays and were satisfied with the performance of no the Bt brinjal crop. Uh, fruit and shoot borer. So can you ask, ask the farmer whether he's... Um, had to spray the crop at all here? Any sprays? Uh, pesticide spray? Oh no, no, have you? No, no. Have you done any No. No. So far, no. No. But even if they weren't using pesticides, I still had to check with the farmers whether they were satisfied with the agronomic performance of the Bt Brinjal crop. He uh, He's very much happy. He's happy and due to insect, all the flowering, bearing fruits. He's very much happy. The following day, we visited a third farmer, Abdullah Mia who insisted on the traditional hospitality of starting off with tea and biscuits. <laughs> previous years, previous crops, he would be spraying up to 180 times? Yeah, 150 to 180, because it's a six-month crop. Can I ask about how the brinjal crop is performing here? <laughs> yes, he thinks it's better uh, in respect of um, uh, brinjal fruit and shoot brush. Has he had any activists, any journalists come and visit? Yes, yes, journalists. Journalists frequently come here. Uh, even journalists, they are, they are called, even, you know, uh, even even another farmer, they also, all the plants have died uh, uh, due to insect attack. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In, pep, in paper, published. Uh, oh, all yeah, the plants yeah. have been died, but no, yeah. it is a false. false. Uh, yeah. Just uh, early morning, one uh, uh, journalist um, uh, came here uh, and asked him several questions uh, and gave him one uh, visiting card. He asked him whether it is attacked by shoot and fruit brother. And he said what he, he said no. Next stop was the farm of Shankar Chandra, a nearby farmer whose BT Brinjal crop had already been identified in newspaper reports as having failed. The journalist published mm. in the paper that all the plants have been died. Most of the plants have been died. Mm -hmm. But that is the false information. So what's the truth? Actually, these all the plants you see now, mm -hmm. whether the plant is there or not. How's it yeah. look? Hmm? Yes, funny. And the fruit's healthy, right? Yes. Are there any of these plants unhealthy? Yeah. All, I think all are healthy. Mm -hmm. There's no um, uh, insect attack. And this um, uh, non, non BT. So why why plant non BT at the same time? So this, this is the uh, comparative. Oh, like a control. Uh, yes, like control. Okay. Like control. You please see. Mm -hmm. Is this non-bt attacked by 
Yeah, the put and shoot brand. But so the most likely explanation for these reports of BT Brinjal having failed is that visitors have misidentified the non-BT controls, not realizing the difference. So ask him, have any of the BT plants been affected by fruit and shoot? So why, why do the journalists want to write negative information? We assume there's some... Uh, Insecticide company maybe pursue them, maybe, maybe. So you think the insecticide company maybe pays the journalist to write the stories? Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. 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 Not unlikely. Not, not unlikely. unlikely. Not unlikely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about the um, NGOs, the anti anti BT Brinjal NGOs? Uh, anti BT Brinjal NGOs, uh, yes, uh, yeah, but. Uh, uh, they're, not come, they're in the town. They're, they are in, in town. Possession. Do you think the insecticide companies? support the end the I don't know maybe, maybe, maybe or not maybe not, maybe not. We don't know I don't know <laughs> <laughs> the so-called journalist who had earlier visited Shankar Chandra's farm had also brought some yeah, rather him. shocking yes, news uh, uh, the told him that uh, uh, this brinjal is harmful for human body uh, it will uh, hamper your body uh, and if not it will hamper your uh, uh, son even grandson uh, and that uh, process will continue. But sometimes they have uh, uh, told them, uh, paralyzed, uh, your son will be paralyzed, or your grandson will be paralyzed, or next generation, future generation will be paralyzed if you take it. <laughs> Very early stage, all are fine. They're not paralyzed yet. <laughs> <laughs> he, is telling, he is telling that he will harvest fast and he will take fast. Mm -hmm. And he will eat fast and then he will go to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, he will say that I have eaten. Yeah, you, you can eat it, no problem. Now I had only one final Rangpur farmer to visit, Anil Chandra Mahanto, whose BT Brinjal crop, it turned out, was indeed having problems. Severely affected by bacterial weed. Most of the plants are died due to uh, weed. Uh, more than 16 years he is cultivating Brinjal. In the yeah, same field? Uh, same field. So he should he should plant brinjal in different places? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any spray? Any, any pesticide? No, no pesticide. Yes, please. Oh, so these are also BT around here? Yeah. BT, BT, BT. So he replanted some to make... And yeah. some ex excess uh, assist uh, extra, extra seedling. Okay. Let's look at these ones. Here, population is okay. I think it's a bit good condition. Plant population is okay. But any fruit and shoot borer? No. Shoot in the no, he did not see. He still now no shoot and fruit. Non-BT mode poka lagche. But he he observed in non-BT plants. Do you think? No, 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 no. No. Ila to bigun hole to khawar jonno khaiti hobe. What is he saying? Uh, he is telling that we cultivate we cultivated it. That is why we should take it and we should market it. Uh -huh. uh, we will take it. We will eat it. Uh, otherwise, I could not cultivate this. So he's happy to feed it to the kids? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> As the only Westerner so far to have visited these five BT Brinjal farmers, it seems clear to me that the crop is performing as expected. Having examined hundreds of plants, I didn't see a single case of fruit and shoot borer affecting pest-resistant Brinjal. However, with uniformly negative press coverage and activists spreading scare stories about those who eat BT Brinjal becoming paralysed, it's unclear whether BT Brinjal will be continued or whether Bangladeshi Brinjal farmers must stay dependent on toxic pesticides for many years to come. This is Mark Linus for the ABSP2 project in Bangladesh.